Show. My name is Rod Moore, and I want to talk to you today about one of the key determining factors between whether you'll be successful as an artist or not. And that key determining factor is really what goes on in uh, in the old grey matter there, right? Your attitude is uh, probably the most important thing. Now, I've met lots and lots of artists, and uh, generally, a lot of artists have a self-defeating attitude. You know, they're not very positive. They're quite negative about the art market. And how often have I heard comments like, you know, people aren't buying art these days or art's not selling or, you know, whatever, just negative and focused on the wrong things. And you're not going to get very far with that sort of attitude. Whether that's right or wrong, that, you know, it doesn't really matter. If you talk yourself out of success, then you won't be successful. Right? There's just no two ways about it. You have to have a positive attitude attitude and with that positive attitude you have a positive upbeat energy and with a positive and upbeat energy what happens is you attract people to you because people want to hang around with people who have a positive energy not with negative people right and so everything snowballs from the attitude that you bring to, to your career your business your your art practice and if you're negative and bitching and moaning and complaining and whining and you know and everything's bad and nothing's working out then guess what you'll continue to get more of that, right? You'll continue, what'll happen is you'll start to associate with other artists who have the same attitude and you'll have a little pity party, but you won't get much done in terms of creating success as an artist. And uh, so I often have other artists tell me I'm too positive, right? But I'd rather be positive and optimistic and, and have a forward looking attitude and think that everything's great than to have a negative one because I know that you can't get much done with a negative attitude. So you need to be positive. And with that, you need to have things like written down goals and plans. You need to have a goal of where you're going to and uh, a plan on how you're gonna get there. So I've got you know a, a goal, which is probably a three-year goal that I'm working towards. And uh, it's very measurable. At, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big stretch, but it's not so much of a stretch that it's unbelievable, right? So I don't have goals to sell a painting for a million dollars or anything like that. That's ridiculous, right? Um, I have goals that are going to stretch me to become a better person, a better artist, to work hard, to really strive for success. And, you know, it's right up there, the goal that I have. But if I continue to do the things I'm doing and build more momentum, within three years, I'll get to that goal. And then I have a broken down plan of what I need to do on a monthly, weekly, or actually a yearly monthly and weekly basis. And then what do I do each day when I get up? I work on what do I need to do for this week, right? Um, how many paintings do I need to produce? How many marketplaces do I need to list those paintings in? How many videos do I need to do? How, you know, so I've got a plan of everything I need to do for the week, which is all lined up with that three-year goal. Okay, and I've got a one-year goal as well, obviously. And uh, and you need to think that way. You need to believe that you can do it. You can have a positive mental attitude. Now, what do you do if you don't have a positive mental attitude? Well, the very first thing I'd do is I'd stop hanging around with those people in your world who are negative, right? Anybody that's giving you negative feedback, if they're complaining, they're moaning, they're whining, they're negative, they're down on life, you need to distance yourself from those people and you need to surround yourself with more positive and upbeat people, okay? Um, you need to stop exposing yourself to negativity. The news, for instance, I, I, I never listened to the news. I didn't even know who Australia's uh, treasurer was the other day and he was giving a speech and I'm watching a video, who's, who's this guy, right? Because I don't watch the news, it's bad news, right? There, there's no good news, it's all bad news. Don't watch it, right? So tune out from all the negativity in the world and fill your mind full of positivity, right? Read good books. Read books like Think and Grow Rich, right? So that you start to 
condition your own mind to believe in possibility, to believe that if I set myself a goal and a target and I focus on that goal and target and I become um, consumed by that, that I can actually achieve success through that. Because the truth is, and let's, let's be honest here, right? The truth is, out of the millions and millions of artists out there, the vast majority of them just won't achieve success in their lifetime. They're just not going to. They're not going to become full-time working artists who earn enough money to, to be abundant and prosperous, right? Um, as opposed to struggling. Nobody wants to be a struggling artist. There seems to be some badge of honor that I'm a starving artist. Well, forget that, right? You can't pay the rent and the mortgage and eat and, and look after your family as a starving artist. Who wants to be a starving artist? That's ridiculous, right? Um, you want to be a prosperous and abundant artist, and earn a good income through your art, through sharing your art with the world, right? But the truth is most will never get there. And it's not because they can't, right? It's not because the opportunity is not there. I mean, we live in the greatest time in history for artists right now. There's never been a better time. There's more art being sold right now than ever before. You can become a self-representing artist online. There are tools like video and everything else that's available to us. And, and there's never been a time like right now to be successful as an artist, but the vast majority of artists won't make it. Why? Because of what goes on in their head, right? It's their thinking. If they talk themselves out of success, then they'll never achieve it. Now, it's a really interesting thing. As you become more successful as an artist, you will start to receive feedback from other artists. Right? I'm sort of trying to find the right words on how to describe this here. Right? You will receive, you know, so right now you've probably got a group of artists that you know and you associate with and so on. As you start to become the one who achieves success and sells more artwork and so on, some of those people in your world right now will start to become negative towards you as you achieve success. It's a really interesting phenomenon. I can't put my finger on what it is, but you know, you get together a group of artists and they all talk about wanting to become successful and sell their work for high dollar amounts and you know, earn lots of money through, and you know, they all wanna be a big artist. But as soon as one of them starts to achieve it, all the others become bitchy and negative and, and, you know, and, and you become the outcast, the one who starts achieving success, even though, any given group of artists would all say they'd like to sell more work and they'd like to become successful. So why is that? Well, it's attitude again, right? So if you have a negative attitude towards me, like as an, I'll use me as an example, right? Because I'm very different from most artists. I get out there and I talk about my art. I'm very positive. I'm very upbeat. I'll tell you what to do, right? Uh, and, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm market and promote and I'm out there, right? That makes a lot of artists feel uncomfortable. And, and I, you know, because I do all those things, I've achieved some success, right? Not ultimate success, but some success. You know, I earn a full-time living from my art. I'm, I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm helping people around the world learn to paint. And I'm selling my art. And I'm building my collector base. So I've, I've got a lot of things going on, a lot of good things happening, right? It could always be better. And, and I could always reach higher levels of success, which I'm working towards. But because I'm doing those things and because I'm vocal and I put videos out like this and so on, you know, I get lots of negative feedback from other artists, right? Um, because I make them feel uncomfortable. You know, they, they could just completely ignore me and, and I wouldn't play a factor in their world. They wouldn't need to be, you know, but because I make them feel uncomfortable, I get negative feedback, right? So I have this very empowered mindset where I'm really striving forward and I believe I can do it. And I think it's a great time in history to be an artist. You know, I'm really positive. And that makes other artists feel uncomfortable. But if you're that artist who is um, who's feeling uncomfortable because you see another artist being successful, then in effect, what you're doing is you're pushing away success as an artist. If you have any negative thoughts about a successful artist that you've seen, you know whether it's about their artwork or about them personally, as soon as you start to think negatively about a successful artist, what in effect you're doing is you're pushing success away from you. Right? We should celebrate successful artists. Sure, they may not be like you and I. They may have different artwork. Their attitudes might be different. But if they're successful, um, then you should embrace that. Right? You should celebrate them because the more you, you attract what you celebrate. If you're negative about something, you push it out of your life. So if you're an artist who wants to be successful, but you're negative about successful artists, 
You're never going to achieve success, right? It's all attitude. It's all what goes on in your own mind. You attract success by the person you become, Jim Rohn said, right? And I think that's so true. If you want to be a successful artist, you've got to think like a successful artist. You've got to, you've got to feel like a successful artist. You've got to talk like a successful artist. You've got to talk up art. You've got to talk up other artists. You've got to be positive about artists who are doing well. Um, if you're negative about the art world, if you're negative about selling art, if you're negative about the online opportunities and about people like me who are promoting and selling their artwork, if you're negative about all that, you will never, ever, ever attract it into your life, success as an artist. It's all what goes in your own mind. You need written goals. You need to focus on those goals and you need to plan to you know, achieve those goals. And you need to have the right beliefs and the right positive energy around what you're doing. You just can't achieve success as a negative, bitching, moaning, whining, this is never going to work and woe is me kind of artist. It just rarely happens, right? If you are negative, you repel. If you're positive, you attract. So you've got to think about yourself. Are you a positive, upbeat person? Are you positive about the art world and about other artists? And do you celebrate their success? Do you have a goal and written down plans that you focus on every day and have an empowered mindset? Or are you like this artist, right? The negative one, the one who immediately went and told me all the things that were wrong about what this guy was doing, right? Um, who, who believes that, you know, the art world's not as good as it was in the 80s, right? Um, and, and have all this negativity around what you're doing and you just bring this negative energy. Because if you're that person, you're never going to be successful in this. You really aren't. So if you are, if you can identify yourself, and, and look, there's no um, shame in, in being somebody who's maybe frustrated, uptight, and got down on the art world. There's no shame in that. It's a tough business, right? It really is, which is even more reason why you need to be positive. Um, but if you're currently stuck in that mode, you need to go to work on yourself. You need to start to invest in positive thinking and, and, um, and personal development. Read good books like um, Think and Grow Rich, but also read about the lives of successful artists and, uh, and start to get a vision of how you might be able to become successful as well. You've got to work on what goes on in your own head, right? You've got to stop those negative thoughts and embrace a more positive energy. If you bring positive energy to what you're doing, you'll attract people to you, you'll gain momentum, and things will start to work out right. Hope that helps, and I'll talk to you next week on The Art Show. Cheers.